Race three, the race Cape Powered by Hollywood Bet has been won by number one, Mary Lamb. It was uh, a jockey change, Crank Bantam was the fortunate uh, chap to pick the rider. But uh, first up, I'm going to mention Tom Bela Dixon. He's the groomer, looks after Mary Lamb and received the thousand rand. So thank you very much to Hollywood Bets and Cape Racing for that. It certainly makes a huge difference. But uh, Craig, well done for the lovely win. Thank you, Vicky. You seem fit as a fiddle. You're not even blowing. Yes, because I do a lot of work. <laughs> No, nah, it's just nice that I could ride a winner for Mr. Snate and well done to the owners and I appreciate it. Did things go according to plan throughout the race? Yes, I, uh, Mr. Snate asked me before the race, so I told him I'm just going to follow that horse that he's drawn to. And we went quite a nice race and I was just waiting to get a split and one, I got a split and she gave me a good kick past the 400 and she ran actually right through the, li through the line with me. It's wonderful to have you riding also in the winner's box. Thank you. Um, just uh, another big thank you to the whole Snake team and well done to the owners. Well done. Thank you and well, thank you to my sponsors, um, Turf Talk. There you go. That's uh, Craig Bantam. Please just punch for his, uh, not only himself, but his sponsors. Justin, well done. Great. Thank you. You said it wouldn't take long and uh, thankfully she was nice and quiet today. I kept an eye for that. Yes. Um, and I think the, the good thing is Craig rides a bit of work for us. He's one of the few jockeys, well, he's the only jockey. <laughs> that comes out to Philippi and makes an effort. So it was only right to give him a chance. And uh, I thank the owners. You know, Craig, you didn't even have a ride on the day, to be honest. He was sitting at home and saw that Richard uh, wasn't riding today and you asked for the ride. And I spoke to the owner and said, listen, we can always go for a more popular rider, but I think it's just fair to give him an opportunity. And uh, he, he rode a beautiful race and just shows you, you know, if you've got the horse under you, you can produce the goods. So really well done to Craig, to John and, and Pamela and Neville. Uh, fantastic to finally win a race with her. She's very quirky. It's taken a long time and a lot of patience. I, I sometimes feel bad. My dad takes her out on the lead pony and I, I see him coming back all red and flustered. So uh, <laughs> very fortunate to have my father around to, you know, to manage the lead pony. It's incredible to watch. It keeps them young, keeps them fresh. Yeah, look, I see I, I, every morning it's something amazing to watch, to watch him ride. You, you just don't see people ride as well as he does. I mean, I've ridden my whole life and I would never, ever be the rider that he was. And uh, I watch all the guys that, don't take this the wrong way, all the guys that come from the Jockey Academy and, and the, the riders around, and it's, it's not always good to watch. I can assure you, I, I have no choice but to stand and watch everyone ride. And uh, it's, uh, it's just rare to see somebody that can glide on a horse that, like that, even at his age, it doesn't matter. He rode like that when he was 20. It's incredible. And I'm sure it asset to the yard. It's a huge asset. I mean, it's, it's risky. But uh, he doesn't care. <laughs> I suppose he's safer on a horse than in a car. So, so uh, all good. Well done, Justin. Great. Thank you very much. There you go. Yes, of course, Pamela. Well done for the win. Yes, thank you so much. I'm absolutely delighted. I mean, this is one of my favorite courses. My first win here this year. And I have to thank um, Craig, the jockey, for stepping in for us at the last minute. And he did a wonderful job. So I'm thrilled with that. Sorry that um, poor uh, Richard is, is not feeling so good. And my dear thanks to the Snaith uh, boys, as I call them, my boys. And, of course, my special guru, John. He and I own this horse together. She's named after my mother. And thanks to the breeder, Cloverleaf. She believes. She Thank you. Well done for the win. And, uh, John, just a chat to you, too. Delighted. Lovely to have a winner. She's a sister to a group one winner, so a half, half sister to a group one winner by dynasty. Now she's a winning sister to a group one winner, yes. so we couldn't be more happier. Yes. Thank you. No, well done. And uh, ben, ben is the first time on a race first course. First time on a race course. How's and, your experience been? And it was awesome, really, to, to see a win the first time I'm here. I really, really enjoyed it. Well, it's great that you're joining us, and hopefully this sets the standard for all your visits going forward. Yes. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, you can Maybe celebrate we'll together, so well done. Owner next. Oh, well, there you go. That's the plan. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> there you go. All the owners are going to enjoy the celebrations with uh, number one, Mary Lamb, as Pamela mentioned, named after her mum. It's a very special daughter of Dynasty, and uh, she looks like uh, all the quirks are ironing out. Well done to the whole Snake team, as Justin mentioned. His father is such an asset to the yard, and well done to Shively Stud for breeding what's turning out to be a lovely winner.